today's video we're going to be showing how to uh, set up the InstaFizz uh, ACD file. Just uh, this is going to be showing just you know something that Rockwell has as a sample program. But we, we will be tying this into a full-blown um, emulated system. So what I mean by that is uh, basically have a PLC file or a control logic file talking back through an HMI server and ha have it 100% full and, and working and all completely emulated. So first and foremost, uh, let's go ahead and open up our InstaFizz uh, ACD file and I'll show you the first steps of what, what we need to, need to do to get it prepped up. Okay, so you know it comes down here, and at, look, you can tell by the very bottom that it's an L6. And what we need to do is we need to immediately go up to the, and so it's L6 at version 19. In the current system that I'm running, I'm running a version 20, so I'm the emulator I'm using is version 20. So the first things I need to do is change the type of processor from a soft, uh, basically soft logics to down to an emulator software or emulator processor. The same token I need to change the software version to 19. This is going to take a minute to basically um, go through the whole program again and kind of reseat seat itself and, and know who it is. So it's going to set the version, it's going to set the, uh, it, it's going to tell you everything's going to change but it's going to know who it is, it's going to basically know the processor, um, what you're trying to do with it, and again, that didn't really take that, that too, too long of a time, but you see now our processor type is an emulator, and our version is version uh, 20.11. Now we're in slot 2, so okay, that's fine. So now what we need to do is we need to minimize this, and we need to start our emulator. So in our emulator, we want to verify that we have a processor in slot 2. In slot 2, we have nothing. So we'll go ahead and create an um, emulator processor in slot 2. And we'll go ahead and put next on that. And you can increase the memory. I personally like to increase the memory uh, as much as I can. I believe it's 557. Um, could be it. Yeah, I like to increase the memory as much as I can. So just remember we're in slot 2 and on the bottom right here we're in slot 2. So at this point you should be able to go online and remember you're going to be going online with your AB uh, VBP which is your virtual backplane and remember we're on slot 2 so we want to make sure we re-scroll and find slot 2, which we did, and we want to, to name it. So we want to download to that processor. So now that we've downloaded to the processor, we have a fully functional program. Actually, let's, let's go ahead and cut this in remote, remote run. Uh, you can come in and, and verify you have no uh, task overlaps or anything of that nature. Um, you know, as far as that goes. Uh, but we have a fully functional program, fully able to run. Um, there's simulation code in here. I'm not sure if it's running right now. Uh, but I will say that we are going to tie this into a... Uh, a uh, HMI system that it comes with uh, comes with the same package, and it's the uh, right here. It's the InstaFizz HMI. Uh, this comes with instructions, but uh, honestly, this is just an easier way to do it. You know, doing a video. So the, the HMI, um, what we'll actually do on another video. I don't want to get this one too drawn out. Um, what I will do is again show you the highlight points of what we've done is we've come in here, we've taken the base program that they give you and we made sure that we are running, if we do have do not have any hardware and we're running an emulator, verify the version of emulator that you are running. 
So under help, up out, and we are running the version running version 20. So you want to make sure you're on version 20. Uh, you want to make sure your, your emulator is running. You want to make sure you're on the same version as your emulator. You want to make sure you change the type of processor to an emulation processor. Um, and as far as slots, uh, it really doesn't matter. Uh, being that we're using uh, an emulation, it doesn't matter the chassis size. Um, just come in here and, and, you know, as far as overhead time slice and stuff like that, really not that, that critical on something like this. Date and time, I mean, you can set it to the workstation. Uh, it, it may help. I mean, we're not doing any kind of motion, but, you know. So, real quick, uh, just the high points. Um, make sure your processor is an emulator. Um, don't matter what slot it is, we can always change it to whatever we need to. Uh, you can do that there or here. Make sure you're offline. Once you get it all, <clears throat> all converted over and everything it is, is the way it's supposed to be, then you come up and you, you download to your processor and you are online. So that's how to convert a standard uh, uh, Factory Talk or standard Rockwell uh, InstaFizz program to uh, a running emulated InstaFizz program. And this is this again will will be uh, the first step of leading into a full blown program or full blown situation where we'll be running the the code and the code will be working with the SE. Uh, HMI system. So, uh, real quick, I just wanted to highlight that, and I would like to hear your, your comments and, and leave me some comments about what you would like to see, and, and you know maybe if this helped you, if it, it was a little too too bland or whatever. <clears throat> you know, I'm just trying to keep them real real short, sweet, and to the point. You know, so uh, if you need any uh, any kind of assistance or have any questions or comments and stuff like that, just please leave them in the show notes below. Uh, there's two ways to contact me, and um, obviously if you leave a comment, I get that as well too. So I just want to thank you for your time, and uh, and uh, again, we're we're just here to help. So there'll be more more videos to come, and we'll we'll get this thing uh, 100%. Okay, thank you for your time.